today on Florida Sport Fishing. Awesome, how sick is that? Dolphin, blackfin, sailfish, all in minutes. The MC tuna tamer hook, they tame that tuna. This fish just absolutely crushed my deep bait. Get you some. Ho ho, what on? CB Boats presents Florida Sport Fishing, television for the avid angler. Powered by Mercury Marine. Oh, got one on, got one on. <laughs> There's a sailfish, I already got a bite. Ridiculous. Another one on, another one on. <laughs> That's what it's all about right there. Yeah. Oh, look at that, look at that. Florida Sport Fishing TV utilizes and proudly endorses Ghost, the global leader in boat security, monitoring, tracking, and surveillance. Motor Guide, the most dependable trolling motors on the water. VMC, tired of missed strikes? Fish the hooks the pros fish. Fish VMC. Rugged Shark, technical footwear designed for angling and boating enthusiasts. Ocean LED, for quality, high-performance underwater lighting, turn to Ocean LED. First drift, got the other two lines out. There goes the short bait. Put a little bit lighter bait on this one, a peltrid. Sometimes those tunas tend to prefer those baits. Sailfish too. So we'll see if it makes a difference. The last time we were out here, it made a difference. That's the only thing I got bit on. So, so this afternoon bite is just absolutely key, being able to come out here three, four o'clock in the afternoon, leave work a little bit early, fish for a few hours in the evening. And really that's gonna be the most opportune time to, to connect, you know, with sailfish, kingfish, especially the blackfin tuna, even dolphin, you know, inshore here on the edge. We're really fortunate in Southeast Florida here to have such deep water so close to home. And oftentimes, I mean, yeah, you can catch fish throughout the whole day, but oftentimes, You'll do more in that last two or three hours, sometimes even in that last hour from seven to eight o'clock, you'll do more than you'll do all day. I like to come out just a little bit earlier just to kind of scope things out, see what kind of current we're dealing with, what kind of sea conditions, color of the water, you know, to really set ourselves up for that opportune six to eight o'clock bite. Spring, summertime, you tend to get that southeast, easterly breeze. It's gonna push you in shore. So I like to set up around 200, drift all the way into about 70 to 80 feet. Smoke it! That looked like a good bite. Oh, goodness. That's a good fish. It's like a nice king, right? Yeah. You know, this again is why you gotta fish baits all around the boat, you know, to really maximize on every opportunity. It's a fat king in the teens. Uh, nope, can't get him yet. Getting nice one, dude. Uh, woo! Nice king. Yeah, dude. Nice king. Look at the mouth on that thing, the chompers. They just absolutely destroy whatever it wants. That fish probably about 18 to 20 pounds. Yeah. But a great catch on a flat line. Hey man, come out in the afternoon. Make it happen. That's right. Make it happen. This fish just absolutely crushed my deep bait. Had a goggle eye with about an eight ounce bank sinker attached with a balloon clip onto the line. And he just absolutely crushed it. These are the kind of fish we're looking for. We're out fishing tournaments. You can't win any of those meat tournaments unless you got four of these in the box. They pull hard, they're fun to catch. Great on a the smoker. They're just awesome predators. Those teeth that that fish has. You don't want those slicing across your wrist or your leg. That's why when you're kingfish, you need to wear good quality footwear, protect your feet. He's gonna go in a box, see if we can grab us another one or two here. 
The award-winning Z Performance line from CV raises the bar. It's not just fast. It's not just fuel efficient. The CVZ is the entire package. It offers the perfect balance, safe, predictable handling during hard turns and at high speed. And most importantly, the Z stays on plane at lower speed so it can comfortably handle anything Mother Nature can dish out. Experience the exhilarating ride of the CVZ. Schedule a C trial today. When you want to get away from it all, to a place where you can do everything, or nothing at all, surrounded by natural beauty and all the modern amenities you might desire, then you'll want to be here. At the Wannabe Inn, on the beautiful shores of Minnesota Key, Florida. To plan your escape, log on to wannabein.com. Want more power and increased towing capacity? California Customs goes beyond the hitch. Let us transform your truck into the ultimate tow vehicle. Two and four wheel drive, California Customs does it all. Towing accessories and load control systems, lift and leveling kits, custom wheels and tires, performance upgrades, toolboxes and bed covers, plus all of your audio, lighting and security needs. California Customs, let us make your vehicle what you really wanted all along. You gotta stay on your rods, you gotta constantly monitor your baits. You know, it's all about presentation, all about achieving that perfect presentation right on the surface, a couple of feet below the surface. And that's also where, you know, having multiple rod holders like on this CV370Z, we designed these rod holders specifically for kite fishing so we can manage the kite rod, all three rods from standing in one position. It's vital, it really, you know, can you imagine running down and running back up and running back down? I mean, you just, you can't fish, you, you can't fish efficiently like that. You can't fish effectively like that. Certainly you can fly one or two baits, but at the very least, get a trident, you know, and that'll help you fish multiple rods from one position. And anybody can do this, you know, you can come out here in any size boat and kite fishers, guys that come out here in flat skips and bay boats and get a kite up down in the Keys all the way you know through Miami up through Broward County here into Palm Beach then once you get further up the coast they don't really kite fish as much because they don't have a defined edge like we do they've got to run you know if you're fishing out of say Fort Pierce Inlet you're running 15 18 miles to get into 150 feet of water so it's a different scenario. They do a lot of trolling up there, a lot of dredge trolling, especially for the sailfish. But down here off the southeast coast, this is it. This is the name of the game. So a lot of times when we kite fish out here, guys, um, you know, the, the goggle eyes and uh, speedos, cigar minnows, they all work great, but sometimes these fish will key in on a real small bait, like a small thread fin or sardine or pilchard. That's why we had the option to get the pelchards. I like to fish it on the short rod here in front of me. Um, it's only 20 feet from the boat, and the way we rig it is real similar to the goggle eye rigs, but we're using a smaller hook, okay? You gotta use a smaller hook, because if you put a six or seven ob hook on that size bait, it's not gonna allow the bait to swim naturally. Therefore, you won't get the bite that you're looking for. Uh, so we downsize the hooks to like a three or a four o. Um, and then we also add a little bullet weight. I like to fish a little bullet weight right above the swivel, right above that snap in between the bead. And that kind of keeps it low profile, but it also helps the bait kind of stay vertical. I'm gonna keep an eye on these kite baits, Carlos. Let me know if you need a hand. What? <laughs> what did you just say? I said, I'm keeping an eye on your kite baits. Let oh, me I know if you, you need said, a hand. I keep an eye on those kite baits. I'm like, that's kind of hard to do right now, man. I said, I'm keeping an eye on them. He's digging like a, a bonita or a tuna, man. It's digging like it. It's thumping. 
good old thumper. Oh, there oh. it is. That was the short rod. The pelter. You're you're on, dude. He ate no, it. No, he doesn't have it yet. He ate there. it. Now I got him. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Did you see that thing? That was pretty sick. I saw oh, it from over dolphin, here. Oh, little dolphin. Little schoolie dolphin. It's a dolphin? Okay. Oh. Where are you going? Stay over there. Dude, keep your fish over there. There we go. Yeah, it is. It's a big black fish. Nice man. tuna. He's almost done. Yeah. Wait. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Got him? Got, right. got Sweet. Him. Huh. That's what we're looking for. A double header. We had a dolphin. There we go. And a... That's what we're looking for right there. That's the afternoon Look where got bite. Him. Oh, yeah. Right in the corner of the mouth. That VMC tuna tamer hook. It tamed that tuna. Yes, sir. <laughs> Yeah, it did. That's, that's a solid little, fish. Yeah, 18 to 20 pound blackfin for yep. sure. So that's just it. Gene just missed the sale. We had the dolphin on no the bite. No bites for hours, for a couple hours. Yeah, that's a couple crazy. hours was yeah. slow. Yeah. And then a nice tuna just came by. Smacked it. And smacked one of the flat lines. Built for speed. I mean, that's a rocket ship. See the just divots right here power. where the fins tuck in? Yeah. It's crazy. It's one of the only fish that's like <laughs> It's got a little contour right there. You can actually see where the fin tucks into the body. Pretty sick. Awesome. Good job, dude. Good job. Solid. Gene, good job. Solid, solid. We're having sashimi. Certainly not a big dolphin, but a little five pound bull and a 20 pound tuna. Good eats. Solid. Pro's Tip, presented by Pelagic High Performance Offshore Gear. Official apparel of Florida Sport Fishing TV. I've let my bait out about 25 feet, and I'm going to go ahead and attach my weight with this balloon clip. It's just attached to the clip with a rubber band. You just pinch it and you attach it to your line right there, and that's going to stay on there. If you get a really violent strike, it'll pop off. That's what that last fish ate. Mercury ends in 10. Corrosion protection you can rely on. It's good to have mercury behind you. Chaos is tragic. Chaos can be awesome. Yo, another one on, another oh! one on. Three on, yeah. baby. <laughs> With Chaos Fishing, it's your rod your way. Quality components and personalized service from a legendary builder equal the right rod at the right price every time. Shop online for a complete selection of serious fishing equipment. Or visit Chaos's new superstore and receive a free t-shirt with every rod purchase. Chaos Fishing Gear Matters. What if navigating was as simple as touch and go? It is that simple. The world's first multi-touch MFD chart plotter, Navnet TZ Touch. Speed and acceleration you can rely on. It's good to have mercury behind you. Got the kite up, so the first thing I'm gonna do is take my long bait. I'm gonna leave the hook clipped right to the reel. Clicker on, bring it right down. Take the ring, little ceramic ring, right in the release clip. Check the tension of the clip and let that first one fly. And I'm gonna go all the way up to the second clip. I'm gonna take my second rod. Again, leave the hook connected right to the reel seat, clicker on. 
ceramic ring. Double check the tension. Let that one fly. Third one, repeat the process. This is about the fastest way to deploy your kite baits. You can see I've got all three of my lines going up to the release clips and coming right back down to the reels. I haven't put a bait in the water yet. About to deploy the first one. When I'm dangling just like that, horizontally. Throw him out. And we're slowly gonna walk this. Now this is Got to be really careful here and just take your time walking them out right under that clip. And don't try and force it. If you try and force it, you're going to pop that clip and that bait's going to pop right out of that long clip and you're going to need to start the entire process over again. And trust me when I tell you, you don't want to do that. Slowly going to walk him out there so he's hanging vertically right underneath that long kite clip. And once I've got him in position, I'm going to repeat the process with the mid bait and the short bait. And it really is the quickest way to deploy your baits. All three of the lines out, and then all three of the baits out. Again, don't force it here. Take your time. All right, that's two. Get that third one going, but they look perfect right there. Just right underneath the long and the mid. And now I'm going to shoot my short out. Double check my drags, constantly checking the drags, constantly. All right, and now what I'm gonna do is I'd like them just a little bit further away from the boat. So I'm putting them all in free spool with the clicker on, and just send that kite flying. And that is it. All three are out there swimming right where they need to be. And you can see those floats right in line like that. Each one's about 25 feet apart. And I like to put them floats 10 to 12 feet above the bait. This way you could see that float over the, kind of over the horizon, so to speak. Every time I come kite fishing, I'm super excited about it. I just kind of refine the tactics a little bit, fine tuning everything. And it's really all about achieving that perfect presentation. Catching the fish is the bonus. Set the deep rod. Yeah. <laughs> sailfish. Awesome. How sick is that? Dolphin, blackfin, sailfish all in minutes. Woo! Look at the colors on that thing. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> Dude, that, that was, is insane. Oh, wow, look at them. Look at them go. <laughs> wow. Insane. Sick. <laughs> That's a small sail, but God, he's funky. Funky. Yeah, man. Crazy. The afternoon bite, Crazy, baby. Man. It's turning on. The afternoon bite. Crazy, I tell you. And what that fish just did, when he ate it, ran out, and then just hauled butt right back into us, that's where this saltus comes into play. Six, four to one gear ratio. It's almost 50 inches of line per handle turn. That's that's what you need. <laughs> Otherwise, something with like a four to one, you might not have landed that fish. You might have shook it. Or at least stayed connected. Forget landed. I'm not gonna say landed yet. <laughs> Makes a difference. That was a sick triple header right there. Dolphin tuna sailfish. There you go. Thank you. Hooks out. That was the final of a triple header. Dolphin, blackfin, nice sail. Quick look at him. I don't want to take him out of the water too long. Dude, he's not that small. No, he's 50, 40, 50 pounds. All right. He's a spunky one though, man. Healthy. God. You ready? Yeah. Are you ready? We'll see you later. There you go. Look at that. Sail up and everything, kicking. Nice. Hey, let's go for another drift. Yes, sir. Let's get back on him. Sweet. Rigging Station, presented by Diamond Fishing Products, makers of the finest monofilament and braided fishing line in the world.
Hi, and welcome to this episode's Rigging Station. Fish in the afternoon bite, that magic hour period, could be really, really awesome. But of course, just like with every other fishery, it's really important that you're rigged properly. Obviously, I enjoy kite fishing when we're out there fishing these kites. 30 pound class outfits, seven foot rods loaded with 30 pound diamond line, high vis makes it much easier to see. I've talked about this a lot. From there, the rigging tactics are really simple. We take our main running line using a small little improved clinch knot. We tie it off to a tiny 75 pound heavy duty snap swivel. But before doing so, we obviously slide down our little ceramic ring, which clips into the kite clip. From there, we've got a float, which is an indicator. We're gonna talk more about that in a minute. A tiny little bead, and we're good to go. We'll tie on our swivel, our snap swivel. We'll add 10 to 12 feet, a 40 pound diamond presentation fluorocarbon, and then a short little trace of wire. When we're fishing for kingfish, wahoo, blackfin tuna, variety of species during that afternoon bite, I like to include that little trace of wire. It's 45 pound titanium to a 7.0 VMC live bait hook. If you're tournament sail fishing, skip the wire, skip the live bait hook, go right from the fluoro to a circle hook and you'll be good to go. Speaking of the floats, these are really, really important. You can certainly kite fish without floats, but they make the process a lot easier and for a couple of different reasons. Number one, you can easily keep track of your baits, your short, your medium, your long, and that's also why we fish different color floats, so it's easier to track those different baits out away from the boat. Really a big benefit. Also, the float acts as a strike indicator. You can tell a lot by just watching that float keeping a close eye on it. You'll see it shoot straight down, indicating that you may be getting a bite. So it's important that you do fish those. However, there are a variety of different floats out there on the market. They all essentially do the same thing, but there's some different styles, little cigar shaped floats. These are really kind of aerodynamic. They don't catch a lot of wind at all. You have small little oval floats. I like the oval ones that are a little bit larger. They're just a little bit easier for me to see way out in the distance. And then of course, you even have some larger floats. And what's unique about these is they have a little weight built in right to the bottom of the float. And that's really important if you're fishing light baits like a small pilchard, or if you're dealing with really windy conditions and you wanna keep that vertical presentation, that float with the internal weight is a good way to go. Remember guys, never lose sight of the fundamentals. Make sure that you're rigged properly. If any of your connections don't look good, they're not good, redo it. And as long as you're rigged properly and rigged right, you're gonna stay tight. Are you ready to get hooked up? Florida Sport Fishing is the number one resource for the latest tips, tricks, tactics, and techniques for inshore and offshore. Each issue is jam-packed with useful articles, easy to follow illustrations, and award-winning photography. Only $30 for two years. For immediate home delivery, visit floridasportfishing.com slash TV. Subscribe today and receive a free shirt and Florida Sport Fishing Who Rag. It's your turn to score big. Book a long-range adventure aboard the legendary Yankee Captains. Fish virgin waters more than 100 miles offshore for exotic queen snapper, trophy tilefish, monster grouper, and more. With a lifetime of experience, let Captain Greg Mercurio and his dedicated crew put you on a hot bite. Fish around the clock or just relax. With full galley and huge fish boxes, all you'll need to bring is your appetite for action. Now sailing from Key West year-round. Fortress, the world's best anchors. Stronger, faster, lighter. High-tech aluminum alloy makes Fortress anchors the easiest to handle. Precision machining and sharpening results in the fastest setting anchor. Fortress buries deep for the strongest holding power. With eight models from four to 69 pounds, there's a Fortress anchor for you. Fortress, stronger, faster, lighter. Florida Sport Fishing TV utilizes and proudly endorses Salt Life Sport Optics. Ask for them by name and see what you've been missing. Tropic Trailer, Florida's largest dealer, has the right trailer at the right price. BoatOutfitters.com, a huge selection of tackle storage units to keep your gear organized and your lines tight. Dr. Dan's, from lip balm to sunblock, a complete skincare line designed for anglers and boaters. Frigid Rigid, 
from 35 to 300 quarts, the finest coolers and freezers on the water. Bite? Yeah. Yeah, I'm in. Nice. Oh. Yeah. Oh, sailfish, sailfish. I saw the middle bay just like make a beeline east, and boom, there he is. I think I'm tight. I'm tight, I'm tight. Double? Triple. Triple? We got a triple. Oh, another going. sail. Another sailfish. Holy cow. Oh, look at that. Double, oh, baby, double sailfish gone. out there. Dude, that Way was out. sick. While you were yeah. fighting that fish, I got blasted. Triple header. There's life How in the awesome area. How awesome is that, baby? There is life in the area, buddy. Catch a machine, Look at that. Man. Double header sail. <laughs> Mile outside the inlet. Five in the afternoon. So exciting. He's pretty much done. At least I think he is. His tail's right there. He got all of the blast out of him in the first run. Now he's just swiping. See the rod digging like that? That's just him trying to shake the hook. Why are you going over there? Look at that, look at that. How awesome is that? With his fin up like that? Wow, what a jump. <laughs> Mine's gone. That's all right. It's Palm gone? Beach release. There's a hook right there, barely hooked. I know. I saw it. Hey, I got him. Got him? Yeah, I got him. There you go. See you later, buddy. Look at him. Thanks for the fun. He's going. He's a little tired, but he's going. Awesome. To learn more about the tactics and techniques seen on today's show, and to subscribe to Florida Sport Fishing Magazine, visit floridasportfishing.com and get hooked up.